welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog well as you can see here it is an absolutely beautiful morning and when i woke this morning and i opened the curtains of the van i could not believe what i could see before me so i have again flat cam conditions like i would have had when i was here uh, last night uh, last night is last night for me it's a couple of weeks ago uh, for you but the main thing that I want to try and uh, do, number one is get my camera on the tripod. I need to slow down because I'm so uh, excited. But the main thing I need to do here is try and capture some of this incredible mist that we have coming across us. Now, um, the sun hasn't risen yet. It's about to rise in five minutes. So I said, you know, when I set my alarm, hit the snooze button, because I knew that I had to wait for the sun to come up over the ridge behind me, but I'm glad now that I opened the curtains and I got up and I ran here as quick as I could get because this is absolutely beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is get my first shot set up and I'll check back in with you once I've done that. Oh, this is incredible. There's an absolutely beautiful mist now dancing across the water and it's coming this way towards the church. I also have some cloud that's sitting above that and then with the water being so flat, I've got some beautiful reflections, not only of the church, but also of the trees. Now, I've gone for two different types of compositions. I've gone for a very wide one to be able to get that boat that I would have photographed in my last time I was here into the left hand side of the frame and then I've kind of gone in as well a bit further just to remove that and just have the church with the trees and the beautiful reflection. I've also gone down low because the um, algae patch is still there because obviously it was last night but I want to re reduce the impact that, that can have so if I go down lower I'm not seeing as much of that uh, in the actual shot so it be, kind of becomes uh, incidental um, and then the final thing is you can probably see them here uh, is some ripples that are appearing in the water because the fish are also waking up and now they're feeding for with the flies and stuff or the midges which were my best friends um, so every so often you get one of those as well with a ripple within that now my settings at the moment I'm at uh, f9 and I'm at one fifth of a second and I'm also making sure that I'm looking not only at my histogram but also afterwards on my image because the histogram can be fooled because the majority of the scene is a bit darker but you've got a brighter area above on the sky. Now as I'm talking to you here I see the sun has now risen and it's starting to light up some of the clouds that are sitting above so I'm going to go back out now again to a wider view so that I can have that within the image just to make sure now as well that once I zoom back out again that the church is in focus and I can bring this now to here I have to go faster shutter speed because I'm getting more light into the frame so I'm at one eighth of a second right now let's just grab that oh yeah that's beautiful okay <laughs> I'm so happy now here I'm gonna go from here up to the boat again because I think that's a nice composition and now the way the clouds as well are above that I think they'll light up nicely too but yeah absolutely fantastic so far
as you can see now from here with this boat it's an absolutely beautiful scene and as well with the mist that's right above the church and there's a big bank of it as well behind the church adding this boat to the image i think will complement it nicely now like i would have had on the last occasion here the boat isn't ideally situated so i'm going to have to finagle it slightly push it back out and try and create a better composition with it uh, and with that then hopefully i'll be able to get a nice bit of light as well as the cloud will catch now the challenge actually is trying to figure out the uh, mist is coming this way i think the clouds are going that way but there's no wind so it's hard for me to tell which way they're going but i'll have to just watch it now and see where it's at but in the meantime i'm going to try and move this boat out try and set up a composition put it for where i need it to be so that i can grab the shot quickly and then yeah i'll check back in then after that So as you saw here, I moved the boat out and as I moved it out, I was ready and armed into it to grab the shot because it does seem to want to come back in again thereafter. But I think I've managed to frame it up actually nicely. Now with the light as well now, not only catching the clouds, but I think they're actually going that direction. So I'm not getting any cloud above, that's fine. I'd only be spoiled if I was getting that. But what I am going to get is once the sun will come up, which is going to be coming up over here, between these ridges, it should light this in a beautiful glow because there's not going to be much cloud in the eastern horizon. So yeah, I'm going to play around here now, see what else now I can try to finagle. Maybe I need to take a couple of more shots with this one, but <laughs> this is stunning. The way the mist above that is absolutely beautiful and reflecting as well in the water is oh, incredible. Okay, I'm going to take these photos first, yeah, always. Right, so the sun now has come up and it's reached the ridge. And as you can see, I'm being lit up here, but I'm also getting the first touches of light on the ridges that are down in this direction here. And there's a lovely red glow coming from the rock. So what I'm hopeful for is once this reaches, which is coming quickly and grabs these uh, here, lights up this fog, lights up this mist, it will burn off the mist. So I have to be very quick, but also to light up the entire subject here with a golden uh, light. The midges are in full force fish need to do a better job here to be able to help me along they were doing grand this morning but now you know as the sun is coming up the midges are increasing so yeah i have to be just conscious i'll probably be scratching my face now and my beard for the next couple of minutes but yeah i'm going to grab these here now not going to miss this opportunity and uh yeah i'll give you a look at what happens in the meantime then Now the sun is up actually, I don't need to be on my tripod anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go handheld along this bank here. And that will give me different perspectives as well in regards to the 
fog or the mist that's behind and also the reflection and what I can get into the reflection. Even from here right now, the algae or the reeds that I was telling you about here that are blocking the um, perfect reflection. I'll take a shot of those actually just to give you an idea uh, of what I mean by that. But now because of the conditions that I have with the light, I can actually get this at one sixth of a second. I'm at f16 because I just did a shot with a sun star. I can take this now, but I can change that back. And actually image stabilization is on. So if I change that back now to probably around about f8. And now with that, I can get a 1 40th of a second. And I am at 35 mil. So that should be okay for it to be handheld and to be sharp. The light now is beautiful. It's just hitting the ridges that are behind here. So I'm going to continue on down. That's the first one here. I'll give you a look at that. And in the meantime, I'll be walking and I'll check back in when I find the next one. So a bit further down here, as you can see, there's a jacket underneath the trees, but underneath the canopy of the tree here, there's a lovely reflection. I'm framing it up with the trees that are on the left of the church to the right, which is the bank of flowers. I think there's some uh, pink flowers as well. I'm not sure what they are, but they're now also reflecting in the water and the sun now is perfectly lighting everything up. So yeah, I'll give you a look at this one now. We're gonna come further on down here to kind of go more square on with it. So I'll bring you with me after this. So as you can see here, even from the video, this is an absolutely beautiful scene. You have the mist that's coming up over the top of the church. You've got some light now, which is really, really nice and really reflecting on that. And it's giving a nice bit of a view as well with the, um, the reflection of the leaves in the water, also with the trees. So what I'm doing now to be able to take this shot is to come down here and have it framed up either side with the trees on the left hand side and then the flowers that are on the right hand side. It's going to be an easy enough shot for me to take because I can go handheld because the light is so there. So again, probably probably around about F8. I'll tell you there now actually because it's constantly changing. So if I go here and I go at F8 and I can go 1 40th of a second, framing that up here, getting my focus directly on the church. Nice bit of reflection, I'm at 26 mil at the moment. If I grab that shot, that is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, give you a look at this shot now. I'm going to continue on down here because with this light, as it's coming up, there's a bank of cloud that's after coming in on the east. So I want to move quick before this light is gone. So yeah, I'll go for one final one after this. Now I wasn't going to let the clouds stop my incredible morning of photography. And if it wasn't amazing enough already, what happened next just blew me away. Time to send the drone up. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy this episode, please consider subscribing. And until the next time, Schlange Fall.